Tired of everyone and welcome to Behind the Lava Lava. I'm your host Michael Tan and I'm joined today by my good friend Dave Knight. Hello everyone. We are at the Kim Korean House and Sushi Bar located in Clearfield, Utah. We are just using the excuse of a food review to just come enjoy some good food and eat to our heart's content. Yes, Let's sir. go. So on the menu today, we have the kyoza, also known as the fried dumplings or pot stickers. It's not an Asian restaurant if you don't have these as appetizers. We have a roll of variety of sushi, starting with the dancing dragon. We have the rainbow and the playboy sushi. And back here, we have the kimchi and tofu soup, very spicy and hot. So right here we have the Korean fried rice, but the flavor is kimchi. Can't go wrong with fried rice, it's topped with an egg. Over here we have the barbecue beef short ribs, also known as a galbi. It's my favorite, it's usually what I get with a bunch of sides. You have a variety to choose from. Over here we have the bibimbap, which a rice bowl with assorted vegetables comes with bulgogi beef and a fried egg. Can't wait to take a dive and eat it. It's a little bit spicy. Yeah, it's good. Not it's good. too spicy. Very good. I like to eat the ginger to kind of reset the flavors. <clears throat> yeah, wasabi is good to do that too. You like wasabi? Just a little. Like them pot stickers. I can get my chopsticks to work for me today. Oh. So this one is the fermented uh, bean sprouts? Yeah, bean sprouts. Yeah. Oh, the kimchi is like sweet. Yeah. Not really acidic like usually. Mm -hmm. That's sweet. Oh, we're going to try that one. That's just like a salmon, huh? Yeah. <clears throat> that's not too spicy. Not too spicy? It's spicy, but it's not, <clears throat> not too bad. Not, not like overwhelming heat. Yeah, I think you can order it uh, different levels. If you tell them not too spicy, though, it won't make it as spicy as how Asians like it. Plus, I don't like it when it's too spicy because I can't enjoy my food. <laughs> so Dave, what did you enjoy about our meal today? So overall I thought it was really good food. I liked the bibimbap, the Korean rice bowl, that was really good. It was on point. And the sushi. The sushi by far was my favorite I think. You get a little bit more TLC than you would at a, a buffet. Uh, the only thing that caught me by surprise and maybe this lends to an authentic taste is uh, these wood Wood ears. Wood ear mushrooms or black mushrooms. Uh, I think they're fermented. I wasn't too sure of it. Never tasted that flavor before. Yeah, it's, 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 it's an acquired taste. For me, kimchi fried rice was very enjoyable. It started off not being spicy, but the more I ate it, the hotter and spicier it got which was good because I didn't want to sweat through my whole meal eating, <laughs> yeah. eating something. Every time I sweat and my tongue is on fire, the meal is not enjoyable for me. Right, makes it yeah. hard to taste everything else. Yeah. What would you rate our Korean dishes today? Why not give them a five, man? It's authentic. It's something you're not gonna really find anywhere else. Yeah. So. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm not very, lenient when I do my food reviews. I can't give everyone five, so four out of five seki satisfaction. So if you're in the area again, uh, bring your family, your friends, especially with the holidays approaching, bring them out to check out uh, Kim's Korean House and Sushi Bar located in Clearfield. Let's go.